our Lee Diffie sat down with him. An American team, an American-based Formula One team competing in the World Championship. How's it going to happen? Obviously, I have a, a successful uh, NASCAR team with Tony Stewart. Uh, we built that over a period of 10 years. Uh, lots of ups and downs in that, and uh, just by banging our head against the wall and just never giving up, we succeeded. Uh, so I think this, you know, using that same philosophy uh, for Formula One, uh, you know, tying it into the business, uh, uh, an American uh, machine tool producer that also, you know, is a, a, in racing cars. Uh, it's been very difficult to, uh, you know, to to get out from underneath that. All the other competitors. I think this is going to take us from you know being near the bottom to the top in a very short time. So, like a child on on uh, his or her birthday, they want to know when they can unwrap their presents. When do we get to see you on the grid? Right now is kind of a critical time, whether we do it in 2015 or 2016. 2015 is too early, and 2016 is too late. So, it kind of depends upon. You know our technology partner. How much can we, uh, you know, lean on them to give us what we want? The the rules have changed actually in our favor. Where that list of parts that you have to make is actually quite small now. It's gone gone down quite a bit. So if we can, uh, you know, just focus on what we need to build and the rest of it, we can, uh, you know, beg, borrow, or steal, or buy, or whatever we can do. That's what we're going to do. I mean, we know the most important thing in racing is to get on the grid. And as you can imagine, one of the biggest questions. Is Gene Haas and Haas Formula going to employ an American driver? Well, the, uh, the ideal uh, candidate would be an American driver, absolutely. And, and, uh, at, but I think initially what we're looking for is we've got to have at least one uh, Formula One experienced driver. Actually, he needs to be experienced in, in the 2014 uh, uh, package because it's, it's totally different than 2013. And then ultimately, if we can if we can bring along an American driver, I think that would just be the uh, the perfect scenario. You're familiar with the old saying, "Be careful what you wish for." Are you ready? It's a, it's a challenge, and, and the scariest part probably is, is is what people keep telling me how difficult this is to do. And I keep looking at it. I've been I've been to you know Formula One races, and they look like race cars to me, and they smell like race cars. They look like they're, uh, they're, they're race cars, and they're no different than Cup cars. Building a Formula One car, there's a lot more technology that goes into what, what goes on, but still, when you come down to it, I bet you there's a number of parts in a Formula One car and a cup car are very similar.